what Sophie freaking genius is. So in this video, I'm gonna teach you how to write a rule for g of x given f of x, right? And we're specifically gonna cover exponential functions or transformations of exponential functions. So let's start with this one right here. So we're given that f of x is equal to two raised to the x. And the transformations that we have to apply are these right here. So it says a reflection in the x-axis followed by a translation for units to the right, okay? Now, to solve these, there's basically two steps I normally like to follow. So the first step is just writing h of x is equal to f of x. All right, let's just start there. So h of x is equal to f of x, all right? Now let's write the transformations, the first transformation, and apply it to f of x. So we're gonna say that h of x is equal to uh, a reflection in the x-axis. So to reflect something, a function in the x-axis, you just have to multiply the whole function by a negative symbol out in front, right? So we're gonna multiply this negative symbol by the function, so we're gonna say negative symbol times the function, and the function is two of x. So two raised, sorry, two raised to the x, all right? Now here, this simplifies to simply negative two raised to the x, okay? That's the first transformation. Now for the second transformation, we're gonna write g of x is equal to h of x, right? Because that's what we're looking for, g of x. So we're gonna say g of x is equal to h of x, and then we're gonna apply the second transformation to h of x. So we're gonna say that g of x is equal to, uh, it says a translation four units to the right. So to translate a function left or right, you basically have to add or subtract that number in the parentheses, right? So here we're gonna say uh, x, and then four units to the right, that would be plus four, right, in the positive direction. So we wanna put the opposite number when we move left or right. So we're gonna say minus four right here. Now, the way we apply this transformation is basically just replacing all, our, all of our x's with x minus fours, right? So let's go back to the h of x, right? So h of x is equal to this guy right here. And wherever we have an x, just plug in x minus four. So then here, g of x is gonna be equal to h of x negative two raised to the, and in this case it would be x minus four. Okay, so then this would be our final function right here. All right, here's the second one. So we have f of x is equal to two thirds raised to the x, and these are the transformations. So it says a reflection in the x-axis. So let's start there. So again, the first thing you wanna do, remember, uh, I'll just write it again. So we wanna say h of x is equal to f of x. That's step one. And then we're gonna say g of x is equal to h of x, right? So our function is f of x is equal to 2 thirds raised to the x, right? So let's start with our first step. So we're gonna say that h of x is equal to f of x, right? Now let's apply our transformations to this function. So we're gonna say that h of x is equal to, let's see, a reflection in the x-axis is just multiplying a negative sign by our function again. So we're gonna have negative two-thirds raised to the x. Okay, so that's our first transformation. So now let's go to the second transformation. So for this one, we're gonna say g of x is equal to h of x. All right, now let's apply our second transformation to h of x. So it says followed by a vertical stretch by a factor of six. Okay, so for a vertical stretch or shrink, uh, whatever number it gives you, you just put that out here in front of the function. So this is a six, so we're just gonna put a six out here in front, okay? And then the other part says, and a translation four units to the left. So four units to the left, that's like negative four spaces, right? So again, we wanna put the opposite number inside the parentheses right here. So we're gonna say that g of x is equal to six times h of x uh, plus four, right? That's our second or our final transformation right there, okay? So then the last thing we have to do is just plug this in to h of x up here, right? So then we're gonna say that g of x is equal to uh, now let's see, we have a negative sign out here and a six, so we're gonna have negative six, and then h of x plus four, again, wherever we have an x, we're just gonna replace it with an x plus four up here, right? So then we have, well, first of all, two thirds, and that's raised to the x, but we're gonna have x plus four, okay? 
So those are all three transformations applied to this function. All right, last one here. So we have f of x is equal to e raised to the x, right? So that's our function. So f of x is equal to e raised to the x. Now let's start with step one. So we're going to say that h of x is equal to f of x, right? Now we're going to apply our first transformation to f of x. So we're going to say that h of x is equal to, let's see, horizontal shrink by a factor of one half. Now whenever you have a horizontal stretch or shrink, you're going to put that number inside with uh, the x. You're going to multiply by the x. And you're also going to put the reciprocal of whatever number it gives you. So here it gives us one half. So the reciprocal of that would be two over one or simply two. So we're going to plug in a two right there. Okay, so we're going to say f of two x. Okay, so this just means that we're going to replace all our x's with two x's, right? So then we're going to have h of x is equal to uh, e raised to the two x, okay? So that's the first transformation. So now let's go to the second one. So we're gonna say that g of x is equal to h of x. So then g of x is equal to uh, the second transformation. Let's see, followed by a translation five units up. So to translate something up or down, you just add that number at the very end, right? Or subtract. So uh, five units up is gonna be h of x plus five. Okay, so then now if we bring h of x back in here, right? So it's just e raised to the two x, right? So then here, g of x is equal to e raised to the two x plus five, all right? So that's our final function right there. So if you found the video helpful, definitely leave a thumbs up down below. And if you have any other questions or wanna see any other examples, just let me know in the comment section below.